And we have learned that John Culberson, a local Texas representative, of course, from the Houston area, is in fact on board that train. Joining us now by telephone, Mr. Culberson, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. This is Congressman Culberson on board the train. Hey, Congressman, can you describe the scene for us right now? And did you all have any warning that there might be an impact? Yes, my wife and I were towards the front of the train, uh, two or three cars behind the engine, and there was a tremendous uh, bang and a lot of smoke and ash. So I initially thought it was an explosion and pretty quickly figured out that it was a we – had, we had hit a uh, large truck, and the um, – Tank train came, of course, to a slow halt. We're beginning to move uh, now. Uh, we are there. Congressman Kevin Brady's on board. Uh, uh, Congressman Brian Babin. The uh, the train struck a large garbage truck. I quickly figured out that that was uh, that was the cause of the of, of the uh, noise and the impact. And then I made my way to the rear of the train with uh, uh, Congressman Brad Winstrup of Ohio. He is a Army surgeon who served in Iraq. And Brad actually triaged Congressman Steve Scalise on the baseball field last June and saved his life. So I immediately got to Brad and to Congressman Phil Rowe of Tennessee, who's also a physician, and helped them make their way to the back. And then working, I had to work with the uh, uh, Capitol Police officers to get the doors open because the doors on the train were jammed. And we, I couldn't get uh, 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 Brad or uh, Phil outside to get out to help this gentleman. But anyway, we finally got the, one of the doors to work, one of the emergency exits, and Congressman uh, Winstrip and Phil Rowe were two of the first on the scene with a couple of the doctors and uh, began to work on the two on the two drivers. And sadly, one of them has passed away and the other one is severely injured. That is, uh, that is sad news, and it is good news that there were doctors uh, among the lawmakers able to uh, try and assist. Are there any other injuries you can tell us about uh, from those on there, board the train? The engineer, the engineer on the train has been, uh, has been injured. The engine was uh, derailed and damaged severely. The car directly behind it was derailed and uh, damaged, and uh, we've just uncoupled from the engine and uh, I assume the second car and are, are starting to move. There were uh, two congressional staffers, excuse me, one member of Congress was, uh, he had some injuries to his neck. Uh, Congressman Jason Lewis of Minnesota uh, just left the train and uh, with paramedics and uh, the general counsel for the speaker, Mark Epley, had to be removed from the train. He was standing right next to me in the aisle and was thrown to the floor. I think Mark had a concussion. He's had some injuries to his neck, so I think they're taking him in for uh, just to be absolutely certain he doesn't have these spinal injuries. Oh, my gosh. What a situation out there. Um, and uh, just lastly, are you all, most of the folks then, staying on the train as it is moving out now, or have they, are they removing you off the train and transporting you uh, in another way? The train's moving in the opposite direction. We've stopped for a moment. I understand we're going to go back uh, to Charlottesville, and then they're going to uh, take us on to the uh, to our conference where we meet annually with the Republican members of the Senate to coordinate our uh, legislative program and strategy for the year. The vice president will be with us tonight. The president is actually scheduled to be with us tomorrow during the day. And uh, though the, we'll obviously start late, uh, I expect we'll be able to continue with it. Uh, it's just an awful tragedy. I'm just praying for the family of these, of these two men that were on board the truck. It's an awful tragedy. I, I just can't imagine what they're going through. Um, one gentleman has already lost. He was he was he, he was he passed away at the scene of the accident, and the second uh, man in the truck was obviously severely injured. I didn't get up in the middle of it. I just wanted to make sure Phil and Brad could get up into him quickly so they could triage him, and I got out of their way. Uh, it's just an awful, terrible tragedy, and we're praying for their families. Uh, but the, the, actually, the train has just started moving, so we're uh, we're actually uh, moving. I think they decoupled, they dis disengaged us from the top of the from the engine and the, the second uh, car, so we're moving again. Uh, Congressman John Culberson from the Houston area, thank you for the, taking the time to visit with us. We know you, you, there's a lot going on there right now. Thank you very much, sir. We you will bet. of course thank you. continue to. Thank you. We will, of course, continue to follow the story throughout the day. Be sure to tune in to KHOU 11 News at 4 and check KHOU.com for the latest.